A few days ago, I posted this really crazy uh, Facebook video featuring me using an Xbox controller in Studio One and people went nuts about it. So, in collaboration with Personas, we agreed that I make a sort of a small video tutorial for you guys and show you how you can connect any game controller into your Studio One DAW and use it as a MIDI controller to trigger drums or maybe control the actual DAW itself by buttons and XY pads and stuff on the controller. So let's get going. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to download are two apps, which I will post the links in the description below uh, of this video. So the first uh, app is called Loop MIDI. This is the one that you need in order to uh, basically set up your game controller as a MIDI device so once you install it and you open it now you can uh, you're seeing all of these options now here's the thing uh, you let's uh, name our sort of like a MIDI port from our controller I'm using an Xbox controller so I'm gonna name it Xbox controller by the way this works with any type of uh, game controller whether as long as it's on USB connection to your computer PC. So uh, you can use Xbox, you can use PlayStation, you can use some third party uh, controllers by other brands. But you know, so far I have an Xbox controller. This is an Xbox One controller, by the way. So uh, we name it, click on play. new MIDI device. So now uh, Loop MIDI is a sort of like a bridge to make the, to enable the communication between your DAW and your controller as a MIDI device. Now this is the first important thing. Now next thing, we're going to close this. Next thing that you're going to need is something that's called Fergo Joystick MIDI. Now, this is an app that will enable you to, hmm, how to say, uh, it will enable you to um, format your controller uh, and uh, enable the basically do the MIDI mapping on it. So basically what this button does or this knobs and whatever. So. Uh, Microsoft PC joystick driver is enabled. This is going to be your joystick monitor. Now, when I'm moving my controller buttons, you see I'm moving like an X axis on my uh, uh, XY pad, the, the those small little mushroom type of thingies on your controller. So I'm moving it to left and right on an X axis or Y I'm moving it up and down. Now you have, if you have a controller with two analog sticks, yeah, it's called an analog stick. I just remembered. So uh, the Z, the U and R are is the other one. So basically, you can map it as uh, one big, you know, as two. Uh, access pads that you can control your, I don't know, filters and whatnot. So, and if you have triggers like uh, a left and right trigger on Xbox controller or L2 and R2 on a PlayStation controller, uh, they are mapped as Z axis. So when you press the left one, it goes into positive, And when you press the right one, it goes into a negative. It's a little bit faster because you know you're mostly using the right uh, trigger for shooting so it needs to be more responsive you see now this one is like 
when you're zooming, you know, the gun and stuff like that. So this one is a little bit. Now, your output device uh, needs to be set up, but first we're going to uh, set this thing as we need to click on a new device. A preset name is going to be like an Xbox controller. Okay. Our output device, he needs to show me my output device here, but for some reason he is not showing it. So let's go to the audio management. Let's go again into our joystick for go joystick MIDI. Ah, there it is. It just needs to reset itself. Okay, so now we have our output. Our Xbox controller is our MIDI output device, which will go into our DAW. Now, when we have this, we can create a new preset, but we already have a preset, right? So let's delete it just in case, create a new one. Xbox controller, controller, okay. And then you load it. You need to load it in order for this add button here in your current MIDI output to be enabled. Now, you press add and you see these buttons here Basically, those are the buttons on your uh, controller. Now, when I press A on my Xbox controller, it uh, basically sees it as a button one. My B is a button two. My X is a button three. My Y is a button four. Six is my right uh, button, the R1 on a PlayStation controller. 5 is the left one or the L1 on a PlayStation controller. Now, 7 and 8, for some reason, the D-pad uh, is not active on, a, on my controller, but the select and start buttons on my controller are 7 and 8. And when I press the analog sticks, the left one, when I press it, so mind you, when you're moving them up and down, you're getting a, a, the X and Y axis uh, commands, uh, actually data. But when you press it, you get a num button nine. And when you press the right uh, analog stick, you get uh, the button 10. And it sees it when you're moving it, it sees it as R and U. Okay, so controller device here. This is when you click on the add new output. Now, uh, it needs to send a MIDI output, obviously, in order so you can go into Studio One. Now, here's the thing. Uh, you can send whatever type of uh, whatever type of MIDI data that you want. So, for example, note on... Uh, is if you want, for example, your button one to send like a MIDI note. So for example, my uh, button A, I want it to send like note, this is like 127 MIDI notes here. So what I want it to do is to send like a note 36, I think that's the Okay, and then you press save, and then he added it, this one here. Now you go into add another one. So for example, I want my button two or the B button to send the note 37. Okay, and then I want to add my button three to send a note 38 and then you save it and then I want my button four for example to send my note uh where are we 39 okay so this is like 39 and then I want my button five, which is the left, I want it to send note 40 and then save it. And then I want to have, this was Viber knocking off. Now I want my button six. Is it the right one? Yeah. I want my button six to be a note 
41, I think. Yeah, save it, let's check it. Yeah, so we can have those and then we can go into add and then go, for example, MIDI CC. And then my X axis can, for example, be my, hmm, I don't know, my mod wheel, maybe? Or maybe not, because these are like, okay, let's uh, let's go like with an X, Y pad. And let me just, I have like some free MIDI controls here, like MIDI uh, 85, which can be this one. Okay, or you know what? Let's let's send axis Y to be our nah. Actually, let's go with the axis X control MIDI CC eighty five, and then we save it, and then we go into uh, CC axis Y and go with like. 86 MIDI note, okay, and we save it. And now when we activate it, we can see that he is sending all the values and when I'm pressing buttons and you know. Okay, so in order for it to work, it needs to be activated. Okay, now let's minimize this let's now go into a studio one and now we need to configure our external devices of course now let's go and add this as a new well we can add it as a new keyboard for example now and let's call it x box controller right yeah we don't need to we can send only one MIDI channel now he studio one thanks to the loop midi he is actually uh he can uh recognize an xbox controller as a midi device right and we can send like all of these things go into xbox controller or maybe we can send it as a new instrument god knows ah let's hey, actually let's do it as a new instrument xbox controller right so we have this and then when everything is okay we can go and create ourselves a new song okay and now if we go into our instruments and let me just search for like adam not adam <laughs> adam is my drum pad control but we need like impact there we go impact goes there and now the issue with an xbox one controller is that basically this fergo joystick midi needs to be on your top window this is currently an issue only with xbox one controllers so i read on a couple of threads by the developers that you can actually send this to tray or minimize it if you're using another controller. For some reason, it doesn't work with Xbox One. But when it's activated and when it is, you know, uh, when it's on, and when we press our buttons, you know, it works basically. You know, and now I am getting all sorts of information from Adam, you know, when I'm triggering my buttons. And that's basically it, you know. So let's hope you guys can uh, work this out. I think uh, this tutorial uh, could be very helpful to all of you who don't have like extended MIDI controllers with X, Y pads, you don't, or anything. It's just, you know, for pure fun. So. Go out there, get a joystick, get a controller, map it out, and have fun making music with joysticks. And I'll see you next time. Bye.